Master the art of providing feedback in English. Hello there, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to delve into a crucial topic in our journey of learning English, providing feedback. This is especially important when it comes to email and letter writing, as it's a common part of professional and personal communication. Let's explore how to effectively provide feedback in English, so your messages are clear, polite, and meaningful. Feedback is information about how one is doing in their efforts to reach a goal. When it comes to communication, feedback can refer to the response or reaction to a task, product, service, or the general performance of an individual or a team. Feedback can be positive, negative, or neutral, but regardless of its nature, it's vital to express it in a respectful and constructive manner. In English, we have several types of feedback. The most common are positive feedback, praise or approval, constructive feedback, helpful suggestions for improvement, and negative feedback, criticism or disapproval. Understanding these types helps to adapt your message to different situations and needs. Now, let's discuss some effective strategies for providing feedback in English. 1. Be specific. Instead of saying, you did a great job, try to be more specific. For example, you did a great job organizing the event. The arrangement was top-notch. 2. Use I statements. To avoid sounding accusatory, express your feedback from your perspective. For example, instead of saying, you're not meeting deadlines, say, I've noticed that some tasks are not completed on time. 3. Balance positive and negative. Always try to combine positive feedback with areas for improvement. This method is known as the sandwich method and helps maintain a positive atmosphere. 4. Provide actionable suggestions. Make sure your feedback can be acted upon. Instead of saying, you need to be more proactive, suggest, it would be helpful if you could take more initiatives in project tasks. 5. Mind your tone. In written English, the tone can often be misinterpreted. To avoid misunderstandings, use polite phrases and considerate language. Let's look at some examples. Positive feedback. I really appreciate your thorough research on the project. It added a lot of depth to our proposal. Constructive feedback. I noticed there were a few spelling errors in the report. Perhaps next time, we could use a spell checker to avoid this. Negative feedback. I was disappointed to see the deadline missed without a prior warning. It's crucial for us to communicate schedule changes promptly. There you have it. Providing feedback in English can be a breeze when you know the right strategies and expressions. Remember, it's all about being respectful, clear, and constructive in your communication. Don't forget, practice makes perfect. Keep using English in your daily life and you'll become more proficient in no time. We hope this video has been useful for you, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Happy learning!